Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The government uh, of uh, Iraq uh, has uh, confirmed to us their desire for continuation of the uh, NATO training, advising and capacity building activities for the Iraqi armed uh, forces. And, uh, and, uh, and we will only stay in Iraq as long as we are uh, uh, welcomed. And we are in Afghanistan to make sure that Afghanistan never again becomes a safe haven for international terrorists. That is in our interest to prevent that happen, uh, from happening. The best way to do that is to create the conditions for a sustainable, uh, uh, peaceful, negotiated solution uh, to the uh, conflict in Afghanistan. And uh, as I said, we support uh, strongly the US uh, uh, talks with the Taliban. Uh, because we hope uh, uh, that they can lead to a, a peace process and, uh, and cre create uh, the conditions for uh, inter-Afghan talks, inter-Afghan uh, negotiations. And we will welcome any steps uh, uh, towards reduction of violence, because that is important uh, to create the conditions for a real uh, peace uh, uh, process. NATO stands uh, along the uh, activities uh, carried by uh, uh, we, we, we do whatever we can to prevent a new arms race. A new arms race, uh, especially with nuclear weapons, is not good. Uh, it's, it's dangerous and it is expensive. So therefore, uh, we will continue to work for arms control uh, uh, to address uh, the challenges and the gaps we now see uh, after the demise of the uh, INF uh, Treaty. Um, uh, but let me underline that we will not mirror what Russia has done. Uh, we will have no intention of deploying uh, land-based uh, nuclear uh, missiles in uh, Europe, but we have to make sure that we have credible deterrence and defense also uh, without the INF Treaty. Okay.